This is a sample of my PowerPoint lecture on the new revised edition of Black Indians. You can see here the mayor of Los Angeles opening Black History Month with a group of Native American, African American people featuring the book Black Indians. The story begins back at the time of Columbus when Africans escaped and Native Americans took them in and together these two people formed an alliance that fought the invasion from Spain, England, France for centuries. Here you can see an old French print in which Native Americans and African Americans are dancing. Dance, of course, symbolizing friendship. Back in Florida, this is in the 1590s, you can see an African leader of the Native American people here. Africans were among the first explorers of Florida. And when the Seminoles came down, they taught the methods of rice cultivation that they had learned in Senegambia and Sierra Leone. And these people formed a military agricultural alliance. The United States went after them. Here's General Jackson leading an attack using bloodhounds on the Seminole Alliance. Three Seminole Wars were fought, the most costly in U.S. history until that time, costing $30 million in 1830s money. This is Jim Beckworth. He was a famous frontiersman, a scout. He uh, helped participate in California's Bear Flag Rebellion. He discovered a pass through the Sierra Nevada mountains. But what happened when Hollywood made a movie about Jim Beckworth called Tomahawk, they picked Jack Oakey over here on the left to play Jim Beckworth. Jack Oakey was a fine actor, but a white actor. Everybody learned Beckworth was important. Nobody learned he was indeed an African-American. Let's go out to Oklahoma. Here are the black U.S. deputy marshals, but they're really a mixture of African and Native Americans and they were out in the Oklahoma Territory. Here are the famous Seminole Negro Indian Scouts. What a record they rolled up in Texas. Defending the border, chasing out rustlers, 12 major battles, 26 other skirmishes, four of them winning the Congressional Medal of Honor. This is Lucy Gonzalez Parsons, the first, well, she was a former slave, and she becomes the first woman of color to become a dedicated socialist, champion of women's rights, and to take her message all over the country and to Europe. Lucy Parsons Gonzalez. Sorry, Lucy Gonzalez Parsons. And this is George Henry White, the last congressman of the 19th century of color, mixture of African and Native American. On January 20th, he introduced the first federal anti-lynching bill. He put in the death penalty for those convicted. And this finally shows people of color coming together. In this photograph done in 1978, after an effort to raise money for Native American causes, you can see Muhammad Ali, Buffy St. Marie, Stevie Wonder, Marlon Brandau, Dick Gregory, Richie Havens, and David Amram. And this finally is a picture of the very famous actor, Olympic athlete, Woody Strode, who I got to know, and we did a, a book tour together in 1990 and 1991 in California. Thank you for watching.